Okay, this is a update, is an update on the pixel shift that I was looking at. Okay, I think this sort of proves that it's the conversion to the 3GP file that actually inserts a still to fill in the gap. Okay, um, I'm not sure what value that has. Like, why would you, anybody ever want to watch that? Um, but that's what I, I think is going on here. So here's the original. I'm going to open it up. All right, and so here's the original. This is the EXE file. Now you'll see it's really short because it actually only has the motion. So at 237, here's a guy walking by pushing some equipment. All right, and if you watch, uh, start over. Look over here on the TV. See the TV's moving, things are playing on it. You can look around. Maybe I can make this a little bit bigger. You can see the pixels really moving around every frame. TV's going. All right, the guy pushes the card off, and then look, TV's still playing. And after this, it'll, it'll just switch to near the end. Look up here, 433. And then it switches over to another file, which is, you know, this will probably be the next one. If I open that up, you might see this might even be one of Kanika's friends. I'm not sure uh, at this point. Now just some guy carrying some boards at 4, 434. Okay, so um, what I did was that I took this file and then I saved it as the 3GP file. Okay, and what that does, it actually fills in the gap you know like when it, the first motion sensor went sensor went off at 237 it then fills in all the time all the way over to the four uh, I can't remember exactly what that was four yeah 429 or no 433.56 okay so it's like an hour and 50 something minutes all right so I saved it as a 3GP file then I put it into my Adobe Premiere Pro program, and I loaded it up down here, okay? So let's watch this again. TV screen's playing. Look at all the pixelation going on here. I mean, everywhere. This is what normal video that's poor quality looks like. Even good quality has a little bit of this anomaly uh, pixelation going on. So he pushes it the equipment off the screen notice there's still pixelation even when there's not a person there okay now watch in a second it'll just freeze even though it's still playing now right there you see that and the TV screen up here nothing it's just a still frame that they extend off for like like look what I'm doing down below look at the time here this is just min this is just minutes all right so at around 28 seconds it freezes and is exactly the same for I mean there's a couple little pixel shifts but that's totally not natural I think that the uh, if you look at the TV screen it doesn't even change at all there's there's a moment where it gets darker like right there not really sure maybe they you know put the software puts in a different frame checks or something like that at a certain point but uh, you can just tell that that's not you know I mean we're talking um, sometimes 30 minutes with zero pixelation whatsoever and that's really all you get you're getting in there when, when you compress video this poorly that's what it looks like okay so I think what the software is doing is when you convert it to a 3GP file it uses the motion sensor video that was actually recorded, then finds a frame that has no motion, then fills in the whole gap all the way to the next motion sensor that's recorded. So it fills it in. I'm not sure what in the hell purpose that serves at all. Maybe if you're trying to put together 
um, sort of a sequence. It allows you to put it in, and then it it keeps track. You know, it'll have the 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 next clip exactly where it's supposed to be on a timeline. You know, that, that's the only thing I can think of. But I think that I'm like ninety percent sure this is what's going on here. And the reason, and one of the other reasons I think that is you can. As you can see uh, right here, that's the size of the file. That's tiny, 8 megabytes. Okay, the real big ones are like this, over a gigabyte, because there's motion all the time. And when you convert that, the, fi the 3GP file is probably like 3 gigs. These are tiny files, the ones that I just showed. So to me, it looks like it's pretty obvious that it's actually filling in the gaps with a still image. All right, so I hope that explains it. And I'm feeling confident that there was no uh, dodgy editing going on. Okay, till next time. Talk to you later. Bye.